something simpler, more casual perhaps. Here we have We Rule from Njimoko. And I'm pixel doubling away. Here we go. And here's my tiny pathetic little kingdom. Jeff from 148 Apps is sprawling. Metropolis, I Chadman, Liana Lofty, Tremaine, the NG Moco folks who are way ahead of all of us. I suspect they've had more time to use it. Um, let's go take a look at Liana's kingdom. So again, this is the pixel doubled version, but it's a casual game. So do we really care at the casual game style? Probably not. I mean, this looks really good. However, uh, the model that NG Moco uses where it's free freemium, meaning that you get the game for free and you can just buy with in-app purchases, means that, uh, and also because they use their Plus network, your account stores all the details, so you can just download the free version of the iPad game. And uh, it... it Aside from the annoyance of having to manage two whole versions of the game, which I, isn't a very high level of annoyance at all. Uh, what does it want me to do with iChadman here? 100 bags of grain. Hooray, okay. Lofty 20 royal grounds. Hooray! Expand my kingdom. Hooray! So instead of the, um, sorry, the possible overhead of having to manage two different versions of the game, uh, you get a much better iPad experience. Here there's no separate screen. I can just go and take a look. Let's look at Chad's Kingdom this time. I can just go in and you get a much bigger area covered, much higher detail in the graphics. I mean, they look really nice. Uh, it costs you nothing to get. So, um, in this case, the decision is, you know, even though it looks really good in the iPhone version, why not get the iPad version? Uh, something like brushes. Something like brushes, which is an art program. Let's just trick it into going... Oh, so brushes doesn't want to go landscape. Fine. I will bend to brushes. You can scroll through here, and again, because they're high res, they look fairly good. Whee. And you can draw. There's absolutely no problem with you drawing. So again, uh, if you are happy with this kind of stuff, you have all the functionality that you have enjoyed in the iPhone for a long time already. If, however, you decide it's worth it to you if you decide to go with the iPad version, however, you can um, you can see it's just it's more literally a broader canvas. You have all the controls, you know, sort of at your fingertips. You can just pick what you'd like to pick very very quickly. Um, goes over your art, so you can you know just start drawing right away. And because the screen is so big, you have a much higher pixel count of stuff to draw with than you might otherwise have. So I can just, you know, quickly doodle off something like this mean little dragon. And I don't know why he's mean. Maybe he's just been reviewing too many iPad apps lately. But, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of, of stuff you can do right away. Um, you might be more than happy with the iPhone version, because you already bought it, but if you want to shell out for the iPad version, uh, in my opinion, it's worth it. 
so those are a couple apps. We'll be looking at more apps side by side later on just to give you an even better idea. But uh, let us know what you think. Are you happy with the Pixel Doubled one so far? Or do you want that iPad experience? Um, sound off in the comments.